Hello everybody, welcome to this special video where I'm teaching you how to farm fish in uh, World of Warcraft uh, based on my tool that is called Open Macro Input. It's a free tool that allows you to trigger some macro action and stuff like this based on what you want. And here on this video, the what I want is the sound of World of Warcraft for fishing fish and on time to put some bait on the fishing tool. And so if you like that, feel free to watch this video uh, to be quick. People who just want to fish and make some gold, uh, the start of the video, the video is for you. People who want to do that and also understand my tool, the rest of the video is explaining how it works, the file, the configuration system, extra, extra. So I will immediately start by, uh, I just want to use your tool for fish and I don't care of open micro input. And also I start by saying this is, this is illegal uh, macro, but everything is illegal for uh, World of Warcraft. So at your own risk, if you are banned, it's not my fault. Me, I'm doing it because uh, I'm training myself in my tool and because I don't care of being banned. Uh, but I protect my name a bit just to not be automatically banned. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's go. So uh, in the description, you have here a, a link that will bring you to a tutorial that is not finished because I wait the video to be finished to finish it. But in this tutorial, there is this link, download. It will bring you to Itch.io, that is a download s website uh, for, for file, game and stuff like this and, and software. You can press download that now. And no, I don't want to pay you because I don't have money, but if you have, you can. Uh, and here I prepare you a version of my tool that is pre-configured for phishing because I remind I remind you that my tool is not for phishing in WoW, it's for doing plenty of stuff, but here we are phishing. So download. Uh, you can so unzip it. So here you go here, you say I want to extract that. Uh, you said the, the place where you, you want to extract it. And when you have extract this, you will f f fall on that what it is. You have three stuff that is important. The first one is a uh, jummy jar. So jummy jar, it's basically not, uh, it's not the brain. It just do what you say to him. So if you say type on the keyboard, he will type on the keyboard. If you say press some, some mouse, he will press the mouse, extra, extra. So it's the, the guy who do the stuff. Um, configuration, it's where you put the preference. So what I prepare you to be able to form. And open micro input is the brain. So when I open the brain, it looks like this. You can see that there is a table here with some stuff that are blinking. Uh, I call them some booleans. So boolean mean one uh, or zero, so true or false. So you can see that when I'm talking, it's become green. And when I'm not talking, it becomes red. And when I'm moving my mouse, it becomes green, etc., etc. Uh, so that the base of the program, it's using those boolean to tri to look if there is something to do, and based on that, he will do something. Uh, so here, you have something left to make it work, and then you can go in WoW, and it it will work. I uh, will put that here. It's to go in configuration, and to open uh, with block notes uh, this file audio intensity. I'll open it with a uh, notepad like this. I'm to the same level of you as you. And uh, here, what I'm saying to, uh, with this file to my software is, uh, if you find a microphone that is called, uh, that has the word stereo in it, it is the microphone I'm tracking. And uh, you will give him uh, the, the name of fishing sound. And uh, I will track the intensity from 5% to 100%. It means true. So what you need to do, you go on your Windows computer, you right click, you say, I want to see the sound preference here. You go on your microphone uh, list here. For example, I have one that is called blah, blah uh, here, uh, me talking. Uh, I have call one called microphone, headphone, etc. Cetera, et cetera. This one, stereo mix, it's, the micro it's my speaker of my game going on as a microphone. Lot of PC have that, 
if you don't have those kind of, of option on your PC, what you need to do is you take a cable and you go from your speaker to the microphone. And like this, you can hear, you can hear, uh, you can diffuse uh, the sound of your game and your music and every, everything on the microphone to spoil the life of your friends. But here we, <laughs> here we will use that to, to track if WoW is making some sound. Okay, so me, I'm using that, but you, you, you can use whatever you want, and then you just take the name of it, and you put it in this file, and it works. So, for example, here, mine is Stereo Mix, so I say, if it's Stereo, and if it's, uh, if there is a name Stereo in the name of the mic, the mic, that's the one I'm tracking. Okay, so now that, for me, it's done, uh, you can, we, we, I will show you that it's working. So, I go in WoW. So as soon as I go in WoW, you can see that the green part here is going uh, is going green, me saying I'm in WoW. Uh, and you don't see the uh, audio is fishing part, it's because no sound has been done yet. So if I do that, doo -doo, you can see that some sound of WoW was detected. So now I have the variable fishing sound. Uh, and the application sh should have understood that uh, he need to fish now. So what mean to fish for the application? It means every 22 seconds, I will uh, send a cast, let's say fish. And so here, ta-da! And uh, there is the bait. And so as soon as there is some, have some big sound that is uh, detected, he will uh, spam click the, the screen, as you can see, see uh, and take uh, what is in it and recast here. The, the bait. So here we go. So if you just want an application to be able to fish in WoW, uh, if you just change the file with the audio of your computer and uh, you have done that, you have a phishing application. Yay! There is more stuff that is cool, uh, like the fact to be able to put a bait. So I will show you that, but before you leave, uh, for those who just want that, so who just want to fish, um, you need to do something in WoW that I forgot to say you is to oh no 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 not that is to go in system here and to go in sound and to deactivate all the sound because you have music you have ambience you have dialogue that will maybe trigger the fishing so you just want the fishing so put sound to the maximum and like this you'll be able to fish and the other stuff I need to say to you is that in interface here you must put auto loot on because you want when it click the bait to take the loot of the bait. Uh, so yeah, see you next time for those who leave uh, and we continue for those who want to understand what is happening. Okay, so what is happening? You have those kind of files. So my application, it's uh, a brain who uh, is not editab editable, so in the interface here you cannot do a lot, uh, in the, the, the stuff here you cannot do a lot, but uh, when you do some file, uh, it will uh, check that the file has been modified and he will change the behavior. Why I'm doing that? Exactly why, uh, exactly for this kind of video. I mean, I, d I can prepare you a setting for your game, and you just need to download it and it's ready to use. And that is the perfect situation if you want to share to the community your macro, your, your input. For example, if I'm playing Doom Eternal, I can take my um, application, give it to you, and you can play Doom Eternal like I'm playing it. You have to modify some stuff from here, from there, because you have not the same computer, the same mouse and stuff like this, but you understand the idea. So, um, all this file has, has a reason, and you, there is a wiki that is under construction. Under construction. So if you go to Eloi Stray page or me, uh, the link will be in the description. But if you go on the, the web page of the, the tool, you can download the tool here if you don't want the pre-configuration. And uh, in wiki, you have plenty of, of docs that are not filled yet. But for example, I will show you file. Because it's under construction, uh, doc is, is boring to do. For example, if you have a file that is, that is named app to boolean, it allows you to say, uh, give this name to the boolean if I'm in this app. 
and uh, for example for us here uh, app to boolean you can see that I say if you see world of warcraft in the name of the application here uh, it means that I'm in WoW so here it's red when I'm not in it and if I go in it toot, it's green so you can do that for plenty of your game why I'm doing that it's because it's allowed you to now say if I press this touch or if I hear this sound and that I'm in WoW then you can do something and uh, to, sh to, to show you how uh, we can illustrate that I will show you a small demo for example here I'm saying if I'm in WoW uh, so you can see that it's not fishing because I'm not in WoW and uh, I ask the tool to fish if I'm talking, if I'm start talking, because it's when it's true, I want to stop fishing to record, to just take the fish. But uh, if I'm in WoW, I'm fishing and uh, I'm not talking anymore, I want to restart fishing. And so you will see what it does. So now if I'm talking, it's spamming on the screen. And when I'm not talking, it should uh, cast a fish. So... Uh, wait. Kikaboo! Ta-da! So that's very... Uh, that's the kind of stuff you can do with my application. And as you can see, man, now that I'm outside of WoW, it's not doing it when I'm talking, and that's the power of this kind of tool. Uh, if, for example, here, it's because I, it was calling stop fishing and start fishing too soon, what you can do is you can say in 60 milliseconds, or in, I will say, uh, one second, you can cast fish. So it means that when I'm talking to, to talk, after one second, I will cast the fishing. So for example here, I go back in WoW, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I stop talking, and, and just one second after I stop talking, he casts. You can see. So yeah, uh, and you're gonna have those problems because sometime uh, when you switch from an application to another, he need the time to detect it. But yeah, so keep in mind. So I will comment that because we don't want that to happen, but uh, here is a bit of an example of why I'm doing that. So what is the file you have here? So app to boolean just say what app you are in. Uh, World of Warcraft is that just the tutorial. Um, phishing screen location. Basically, uh, here this file, it's, it's allow you to say this part of the screen it's the part that I want to spam or the part I want to click randomly and stuff like this. And for example here, I call this part phishing spam line. So it means that from those parts of the screen to those parts of the screen, I want to be able to spam click. Uh, those documentation is not really friendly. I mean, uh, what is those number in what order? So that's why I'm doing a wiki and later I will do some XML file, but for the moment, uh, I'm trying to have some one-liner to be able to configure file to be able to quickly modify them. It means that when I'm using my macro, I can easily modify it. For example, if I am uh, playing Doom, uh, sometimes I say, ah, no, it's, it's not right. It's more this part of the screen or it's more this kind of macro. So I just go on the file, modify it, save, and, and that's done for my game. I can go back in the game. So that's why I'm doing some one-liner in, uh, instead of a lot of line. But I know that uh, it means that you need to know what to modify. But sorry, it will come in later version. So here is just saying those part of the screen, I can use them. And uh, what happened here is that if you go in uh, later, I will show you what, what, why I use that. But yeah, remember that you can configure the part of the screen. File to boolean is just uh, saying when I start the application, uh, I want this boolean that is called is efficient to be true. So, for example, if now I, I want to play WoW but, uh, and use the macro and not fish, 
can do that. I save, and as you can see, when I save, he detects that the file has been modified, and he put my if fishing to false. So now I can start to play my game. I want to sleep, so I just go back and say, now you can fish, and now you can fish. So now if I go back in WoW, it will start fishing again. So that's why this file is used to just configure manually quickly some stuff of the game. For example, if you're playing server class, you can say, uh, uh, if I'm a mage, if I'm playing a mage, or if I'm playing a uh, warrior, here. And so uh, when you come here, you will see that you have mage and warrior. So now you can say uh, some line saying, if I'm a mage and doing that, if I'm a warrior, uh, I'm doing that, and he, he will know wi what condition he needs to use. Uh, for example, if you say space, it means jump for warrior, and uh, it means uh, I want a big uh, uh, freezing around me when I'm jumping. It's not the same based on the case. Okay, sorry. Speaking a bit, a bit of... Oh, no, come back. There is one of my program that is okay. Ta -da -da -ta -ta -da. So that's what it's called. Uh, audio intensity. I just show you how it's working. Uh, wall fishing setting. That the last I want to talk about you. Time of the day. I already show you that it's to trigger. I show it to you or not? I don't think I show show it to you. So time of the day. What it is? It's. I think I show you, but just be because I'm not sure. Um, you just need here to say uh, to remove the commentary line, and just to say it means I don't want to to execute that. And uh, here it means every 20 minutes, I will call this macro uh, that is in in the other file uh, that uh, will s put some bait of Bastion. So here instead of 20 minutes, I will say 20 second. Save. So it means that every time there is 0, 20, or 40 seconds, it will trigger uh, the, the stuff. Okay, I go back here, and I wait a bit. Dun, dun, dun. And ta-da! So here what he did is that now you can see that uh, I have uh, the silver grid grill pike bait. So it means that now I will fish a lot of this fish. And uh, here I put 20 seconds to show you that every 20 seconds he will do it. But uh, you can understand that uh, you will use more 20 minutes. The problem of this tool is that, as you can see, I did not put uh, a condition on the macro. Uh, so every 20 minutes he will do it, uh, not looking for th if you are in war or not. So that's the part that is a bit boring. But when I go to sleep, I just come on and comment this, and it's, it's good. So if based on the region you are in war, we just end command the ones you want. There's plenty of other stuff in this file, but for, for this application, I just show you that. Okay. So what it means to say macro dot wow dot this. So macro, it means uh, could you execute the existing macro with the name? And here, wow, it's just me who, who write my macro name as wow dot uh, that and uh, that's in the WoW file, so we'll show you that. WoW uh, string to command fishing. <laughs> I call it fishing, loot fishing. Okay, so in this file, uh, you can see that uh, if I call macro dot uh, WoW dot uh, it will call the Jomi application. So it's the, 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 the little application I showed you earlier. So this uh, small one. Up, up, up. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, da, da, da. So it will call this application and write what is following. And what is following, it means, could you press enter, write those text, and repress enter? And uh, this file allows you to say, if I call that, I call several action. So the first one is to type those text. The second one is to wait 30 milliseconds that he just cast the pour of the bait. And in 30 milliseconds, I call the macro that is 
uh, lunch cast the fish. That's why you eat, eat putting the bait and then eat fish immediately. And so that's how the macro system works. So you just need to call those and, and that doing the action. For example, here, if you want to stop fishing and refish, I did a macro that is called collect and restart fishing. That is just saying, could you stop fishing? So collect it. And uh, in one second, could you uh, recast the fish to, 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 to fish again? Ta -da. So yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, the, the, all my application look like uh, those kind of stuff. So you just, for example, you, when I start a game, I create this file, uh, command, string to command, and I say I can move forward, I can move backward, I can jump, I can fire a rocket, I can uh, put some poison, I can do this, 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 this. I translate it to action, and then I just need to call those micro and uh, not say uh, press a space or press enter. No, you just say jump, and it jumps. So yay! The last file uh, before I stop this video um, is the WoW phishing setting. So what it means? What's happening is that in the future version of my application, you will be able to use some uh, real-time coding to be able to create your own logic outside of the, the application if you want. Uh, but as I don't have the skill to add that to my application for the moment, you can put some C-sharp code in your application. So you just take my application in Unity and make your own, and you can add the logic you want. For example, it looked like this. Um, pum, pum, pum. For example, this is the application on the other side. Okay, And uh, as you can see here, I want to look to the import system. Mm. Here. So as you can see here, if I look to the phishing system, uh, I have something here that is called uh, dot phishing wow something. Wow phishing setting, so that the name of the file, and when the name of the file is detected as modify, it will call this object. And this object, what he will do is it will uh, clear the pr the old version of your tool, and we load from the file uh, that is called phishing stuff. And they will say, uh, and they will uh, uh, do it to this file, and this file uh, will try to import the format of the, the file, uh, and he will call uh, the logic of phishing here. And the logic of phishing is this experimental uh, class that will uh, try to understand what you want to do and try to manage the time and uh, do the logic. So here he's just saying, OK, I need to have some condition. For example, is here uh, it's uh, wow plus phishing. And if I want to recast the fish, I will do this action. So you, you need to code this action. And uh, to be active, to say uh, I'm technically fishing, you need uh, has fishing sound to be true. Here you can say uh, I want a small pause because when you cast, you don't want the sound to re-trigger the action of five seconds. And if nothing happens every 22 seconds, I will uh, recast it. So you can see that the logic here has been coded in the application. Why? Because my application is not, I don't want to uh, create a whole new language to, to manage my macro. I want to use the, the language that's already existing. So if you are doing the application, you can create your own tool. Uh, I have plenty of tools here, but I can add lots uh, easily. You could want to create your own logic in C Sharp or in Lua or in Python or in what you want and call some macro that uh, don't need programming. You see, so we try to remove the programming part uh, to not recreate a language. And that's what I want to show you, is that my tool is working like that, so you add some tool you want. For example, if you want to be able to tweet something uh, when you have a big fish, uh, you could come uh, make your own application, make a module Twitter, and say uh, and add the macro of tweeting and the object of wow and you could make a link of the object of wow we could make plenty of stuff and say okay if i cast 
this macro I mean okay I want to tweet about my new big fish in WoW. So here is the file. So for example here, uh, as you can see, my application needs all that. So I did a file uh, where if you put your, your own preference and that will import all that and put, that, put it over here. So yeah. Sorry, I suppose it's complex. Uh, I suppose that nobody watched this part of the video because I was boring like hell. <laughs> but if one day uh, someone looks at this, feel free to ping me on Discord and ask me questions if I'm still alive. Um, because uh, most of my video, I do them like if I'm dead tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, um, thanks for watching. That's how you fishing wow. If you have bug or anything, put it in the comments. If I have enough comments, one day I will do a video more simple, more clear about all that. But uh, yeah, good fishing to you. May the code be with you and see you next time. Cheers.